why I wrote it down. Next. That sounds, that sounds unlike what I hear about Hollywood, so I was surprised. That, that was not your experience? The roles did not keep on coming. Um, no, I had, I mean, I, uh, I started in theater. I still love to do theater. We did a play last year. Yeah. Um, and You gestured to me like I was in it. I was not. Uh, yeah, you did not. I did the odd couple last year. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't watch that. <laughs> um, but no, I started, I trans started to transition to TV, and I started acting a little late. I was 29, 30 years old, and I started. And so, yeah, so I kind of realized that you know, the clock is ticking. If I want to do TV and on, on camera stuff, I better get on with it. So I, that's why I kind of went full steam ahead once that kind of opportunities came. Do you miss Do you miss the stage? What What, what do you like about TV versus the stage? Uh, the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's true, and I, I imagine that like most of you, even the really good uh, stage actors in town, if I had them on the show, would not get the level of like, woo, when you come out. It's not the same kind of yeah, passion yeah. from the fans. Yeah. And, well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> true. But, but I mean, I, I love the stage, I love theater. Uh, it's still my, really, for me as an actor, I think it's still the best medium for, for actors. And uh, I, I love having my, my time there. And so I try to mix it up, but it, it gets like a little tricky sometimes to coordinate that. Well, that's what I thought was so cool when you did, uh, I mentioned I was going to ask you about this, which is why he gestured at me. Uh, that when you did Three Days Running Important Center Stage, is uh, that you had time off of filming the show in Portland, and instead of going to the Bahamas or back to LA or whatever, you were like, "I'm gonna do." You know the how much show. I love the Bahamas, baby. I can, I can just, you, know, you, you have a Bahamas glow about you. I'm not making that up. Uh, but you say in town, you did like you did theater in like our regional theater company. Like it was a very cool thing. I thought you did. It's, I mean, do you guys go to Portland Center Stage? Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, a it's it's one of the arguably one of the best regional theaters in the country, and. Uh, I had a great time, and we we had like a, a fantastic uh, experience there. Silas and I did it together. If, if, for those who haven't been seeing the show, but it was uh, it was such a good time. Chris Coleman, who runs the, the theater, is an outstanding talent. And did they reach out to well. you, or did you talk to them and say, "I want to do a show here"? Uh, kind of a little bit of both, because uh, I, I knew Chris from previous years, and we tried to coordinate something, but again, it's very tricky with the shooting schedule, and it somehow worked that year, so we... Uh, so you're getting all these theater offers, and you're like, next, 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 next. and then you finally took one. <laughs> uh, I mean, again, theater's a little tricky, because it's a long commitment, so yeah. it's got to fit just right. Yeah, well, uh, I mentioned earlier, speaking of productions, you're going to have to get going here, and saying you have to go to bed, because you're running a marathon tomorrow, and... Uh, yeah. I, I've always wondered, when an actor like does a play, and you come back to the beginning of the next season... Is there like a real like, oh, what you do during the break? You went to the Bahamas? Yeah, I just did it over here. Yeah. Still acting. I was, I was unbearable. I was, I was insufferable. I, I wore a cape the first three months. <laughs> um, I am running a marathon, a half marathon, which we, we discussed. It, was, it doesn't sound as impressive when I say a half marathon, but it is impressive when I say 20 kilometers. That is a uh, yeah. metric. Uh, so, yeah, well, yeah. After, half marathon does sound well, especially yeah. if somebody starts out by saying you're going to do a marathon. <laughs> yes, a half of a marathon is what I'm going to do. Yeah. I, I decided to do my first marathon because you know why? Partly to raise funds. I'm, I'm, if, if any of you feeling generous, I'm, I'm collecting some funds for the Maurice uh, Lucas Foundation. But partly because I live right in the heart of the course. <laughs> so it's going like, you want to every, drive every, every year, year. I'd be on my balcony, like in a bathroom, like. I really should do that sometimes. <laughs> but next year, and now it's like last year. I'm like, I gotta do this now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. That is, yeah. You can hear that that one. That's half impressive. That's half, half the applause you get for your real man. Uh, yeah. By the way, last time I was talking to a friend, and he's, uh, he's like, oh, it's great that you're doing it. You know who did it? My son did it uh, when he was 13. Uh, <laughs> But he, but he did the full marathon. Yeah. He actually told me that story last night because I was trying to like impress him. I was like, mm hmm Yeah. Uh, does great. he do the theater? He does not. I should wear a cape. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe, are you going to do the other half some other time? Yeah, I'll say this later. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I do want to ask you about the fans really quick. I'll go back for one second before I get going. Uh, yeah. Which is that I mentioned that like the, the wooing and stuff. And I... Uh, the Grim fan, uh, fandom, the fan base, is very passionate and, and really cool. 
Uh, yeah. Have you done another project where that you felt that level of love from the people viewing? It? Mm, I mean, I haven't had it, uh, any project that went on this long, and so you, you really kind of amass a lot of fans yeah. along the way. And uh, it's a stage whisper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, so you know, we get a lot of, uh, the longer you're on the air, the more fans you're gonna get. And so I've never experienced something like this, uh, but it's been great, like nothing but support. Do you, are, you gonna, are you gonna miss it, or do you think they're gonna keep sending you things after it's over? Do you, are you guys gonna move on really fast? What's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen Westworld? There's a lot of other stuff to talk about now. Uh, yeah, no, I meant to. Yeah, I, mean, I imagine. I mean, I imagine it'll it'll peter out eventually. It'll it will just be like these great gifts, and then eventually maybe those shitty pens or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even offer you a pumpkin; they're all gone. Uh, but I really appreciate you joining us. Great luck on the marathon. The, sorry, the half marathon tomorrow. <laughs> Then uh, enjoy the final season. Uh, final season of Grim premieres January 6th, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, Sasha Roy!